Hello Libra, this is Starbright. I'm here to do your reading for October the 21st through the 28th. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rise of Venus, and Jupiter. October the 21st through the 28th. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? What messages do you have for Libra? What messages do you have for Libra? Two of hearts. Hmm. It's like a soulmate energy. Your next love affair will surprise you. Your next love affair will surprise you. Could be a soulmate. You got the two of hearts. What are the messages for Libra? King of hearts. All right. You will soon meet the one you most want to meet. You will soon meet the one you most want to meet. Libra. Nine of club. You have many friends, but one is not loyal to you. What else for Libra spirit? For October the 21st through the 28th, 2021. What else for Libra? Jack of spades. You know him or her, but not as well as you think. All right, let's see what's going on with these cards. What else for Libra? What else for Libra, Spirit? What else for Libra? October the 21st through the 28th. Abundance. Some of you guys going to have abundance. Going to get abundance. What else for Libra? Reconsider. Let's see what's going on with this. Bottom of decks is success. Woo! Y'all got it going on. All right, you got the two of hearts. Your two of hearts, you will meet the one you most, you will meet your, okay, your next love affair will surprise you. Your next love affair is gonna be a soulmate, is going to surprise you. Your next love affair will surprise you. Could be with a soulmate, could be with a Scorpio or a Libra. Mm -hmm. Got the death card in reverse. This is someone, this is someone focused on instincts. This, this person have a, a um, this person will have this sexual energy about them. This person physical needs going to take over them. <laughs> this is someone who just had an ending with someone. This person going to want success with you. That person going to want to be with you. This is for one to want a successful, successful relationship with you. But some of you guys are going to be very de defensive when a person do come into your life. You're going to meet this person at work or out in the bottle or out in the neighborhood. This is someone you could have met this person in your past, your past life. This person going to be very passionate about you. This is someone who's going to went through some kind of personal battles. This is one going to be very sexy, very seductive, very attractive. This person is very going to have a lot of passion. This is someone I already been watching you. Because the person see you as their soulmate. You got somebody already watching you. And that person that know that you're their soulmate. Huh. I'm caught this flopping. I don't know. Okay. Got the king of hearts here. You will soon meet the one you most want to meet. Is that soulmate? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Spirit. King of hearts is here. They will soon. Hmm. This person. You're going to meet the one you most want to meet. Some of you guys will feel very burdened and burnt out in love. And you, some of you guys just want to be single. But this person is going to be looking for a long-term commitment with you.
This person gonna put this work in. Person, yeah, this person gonna put this work in. This person gonna want. Uh, um, the person will see. That person will be patient with you. This is one gonna see you as this empress, bold, beautiful, someone very abundant. But you gonna hold back from this person. <laughs> Cause you're gonna feel like there's obstacles in a way. You're gonna feel like there's competition. Some of you guys gonna want to close out a cycle with this person. Oh, because of someone close out a cycle with you. This person's gonna have a lot of compassion for you. Some of you guys, oh, when you meet this person. You're going to hold back on this person because of someone that you had an obstacle with that closed out a cycle with you. This is someone you could have been, could have had compassion for this person, but you saw that person as someone very toxic. You saw that person as someone very toxic. This is one you've been thinking about this person. This is someone that you wanted possible reconciliation with this person. This is someone that you feel, you feel the need to, but you have to protect yourself. But you got somebody that's coming in going to want to fight for a relationship with you. But you're feeling left out in the cold. You're not sleeping at nighttime. You're going to be very indecisive about this person. This Because you want to send someone a very important message. This one could be married, or this person could be the mother or father of your kids. And you will put this relationship on hold. <clears throat> Some of you guys are about to meet a soulmate. But you still you guys gonna be still bitter because of what someone has done to you. And this person coming in, that person is willing to fight for the relationship with you. And this person, you're gonna meet this person at work or out in the ball. This you're gonna meet the one you most want to meet, but you're not. Going to trust this person because of someone that did you dirty. Hmm. You got the nine of club here. You have many friends and one is not loyal to you. You have many friends and one is not loyal to you. Ooh. Could have been someone that walked away from you. Could be on the Pisces. This is someone that want to take things to the next level with you. This person gonna be sad because of the loss of a relationship. This is one of the very um, light, nice things, a smooth talker. This person gonna want to take this leap of faith with you, but this person is feeling betrayed by someone they started talking to. This is the one they wanted victory with this person. They saw that person as their wish, but this person was very deceitful. This is someone they want to speak the truth to you about why they break from you, why they was hiding things from you. Now your person see you as someone unattainable. This is the one that's trying to manipulate you. This is the one that's trying to make a decision about you because of an Aries that they still holding on to. This is the one that love attention, get attention. This is the one that's making a decision to work on things with you. All right, you got the Jack of Spades. You know him or her, but not as well as you think. Show them across the need to see and speak. This is someone new. This person want to come in and pour all their loving out to you. This person see you as their twin flame. Gonna be an Aries. Or this person gonna be very boss and very arrogant. This is the one you had a time with this person. This person want to move the common waters with you because they're still very attractive to you. This person see you as a missed opportunity. This person want things to change between you two. This person slowly coming in. The person coming in with a love offer. This is one you was in conflict with this person. Now this person will want to move forward with you and have this loving family with you. This person is coming back to apologize to you. This is for breaking your heart. Could be a Cancer by Scorpio or Gemini. This is the one who could have ghost you. So they can sit and the person ghost you. This person is coming in with a love offer. This is the one that's trying to heal. This one could have cut you out of their life because of the, the family. This person wanna see you unexpected message, trying to balance things out with you. This is the one that wants a passion to start with you. This is one that wants to marry you. This one that see you as the one grounded uh, down to earth. This person living distant, been acting distant toward you. All right.
Let's see what's going on. We got a soulmate coming in, but y'all not going to trust it. Mm -hmm. All right. It says abundance. Some of you guys going to have an abundance coming into your life. Abundance. Show me cards I need to see in speed. Why this card is here for Libra? Abundance. Hmm. Some of you guys for the, the meet your for uh some of you guys gonna win a lottery. I see money. I I see possessions on sale. I see money. Some of you guys gonna come into a large sum of money, possible an inheritance, a lottery winning. Investment is gonna pay out. I see abundance here for you guys. This is going to help you move forward in life. This is going to make you more popular. Make you uh, very outgoing. You're going to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you. Yeah, some of you guys about to receive an inheritance or a gift of money. Investment is going to pay off. Real estate going to pay off. Hmm. I see success is in your future. You about to, some, of you, some of you guys about to receive a gift. And it's going to be abundance of money. Some of you guys are going to win a lottery or go to the casino, win some money. There's some abundance is here for you guys. What a Libra I need to reconsider. What a Libra, what do they need to reconsider? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Someone that you're in conflict with could be an Aquarius or somebody's in this energy. This is the one going to use every trick in the book to get you back. This is one could be, this person knows how to balance their emotions. This person see you as someone unattainable. This person want to see your unexpected message, trying to balance things out with you. This is the one going to want to start this passion store with you. This is the one that wants to marry you. This is the one to see you as their soulmate. This is one that wants this long-term commitment with you. It could be a cancer. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Libra, uh, Younger, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Gemini, a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is someone who could have took a break from you. Another Libra. This is one that's still very burdened that they was in and out of your life. This is one been watching you, stalking you. This is one to see you as this Empress. Spirit said, reconsider. We consider this person success. Bottom of the deck, you had success. Hmm. Why this card is here for Libra? Success. Show me cards I need to see and speak for Libra. Success. Mm. Some of you guys about to get a um a judgment, and you're gonna be very successful. Some of you guys are going to court, and you're about to win this court case. Some of you guys gonna have success in finding a new job. A new career. Things about to turn around for you guys. You're about to be very successful. Some of you guys were stressed out about this. Spirit said you're going to get what you want at the end. Some of you guys for the end of that period of great happiness. This is something that was put on hold. This is something that you want to walk away from. This is something that you want to leave behind. This is something you want to take things to the next level. You about to receive this gift. This is something that's going to break your heart. This is something that you was holding back from this. This is going to help you move forward in your career. This is something that you need to speak. Of. This this is something that you need to speak the truth about. Or this is something that this is going to be the excellent time for you for work and your project You're going to break through as possible. Some of you guys have to make a decision. Hmm. Some of you guys finna get your wish. If you wish, if you wish to be very successful, your wish is about to come true. I see abundance here. I see you need some somebody that you need to reconsider in your life. And then I see successes here. You guys have a positive changes coming into your life. Hmm. If you're new to my channel, hey, hit that like button, hit that notification button. You will know when I'm on. You can be dealing with all signs here because all the cards are laid out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Until next time, bye-bye.